Hi, John here. In this video, I will go through a couple of reasons why you should not choose PayPal payment gateway as your like main payment processor for your e-commerce store. Why most people use PayPal? Well, basically, it's like the simplest possible way how to get in the e-commerce and just process payments. You just can do it from anywhere in the world, you know, you don't even need like any like LLC, you know, in your country. And basically, it doesn't matter from what country you are, you can just like get PayPal and then sell everywhere in the world, you know. And uh, that's why like most people use it, you know, and that's also probably a reason why PayPal is kind of like not most stable, you know, payment gateway, because you can just like wake up one day, you know, and even everything is going fine, you know, you have like great delivery times, you know, you already have great customer support, they will just like shut you down in second, you know, and uh, take your money, you know, hold them for like half year and basically take that option to process payments from your store, you know, and basically your business is like done in that one second. Let me tell you my story. In the end of 2017, I stopped working with clients and moved myself to e-commerce. Basically, I decided, okay, I will just go in my own way. And I created basically a store, you know, I got ready my stock. I, my delivery was like between three to five days, you know, and well, my ad accounts was also ready. I also got like my bank ready. So I will be spending crazy because before I was used to just like come, you know, and push ad spend from like zero to $100,000 per day, you know. I was just like used to scale fast, you know. And well, I tried to do it here, you know. So I basically scaled my product, you know, and in like first week I pushed it to like $20,000 per day in sales. Then PayPal basically shut me down, right? Problem is that when they shut me down, they asked me like first, they wanted documents to company. Okay, I gave them everything. They wanted to know how my business works. So I explained everything. I explained like all my products, you know, I explained them like how fast I'm like shipping it to people. They also requested like, <laughs> I think like, like at least like two or 3000 different tracking numbers, you know? So we send them like all these tracking numbers, basically when they, they were already like all delivered, you know? And then they decided they didn't need time, you know, to check it properly. So they were like holding me in like this state where I cannot like process payments, I cannot get payouts, you know, pay people, like anything for like a month, you know? I was calling them like every day, like, hi, like what's happening, you know, John here, will you be able to finally check my case, you know? like already like knew all names of like these people who are working in like their call center, you know? I every time knew when Jacob took phone, you know, I told him like, hey, Jacob, we spoke like three days ago. I know Susan, Sherry, you know, I know everybody in that call center because I was constantly calling them, like what's going on, you know? Like, will you finally like do something with this? Why are you like keeping me on hold like for one month, you know? Just give me like some decision, you know? Because they were just like holding money without like any reason, right? Because they thought that because I'm scaling so fast, I'm like a scam, I could be a problem. So basically they waited for a month, you know? And even I didn't get any chargebacks, you know? I didn't get almost any like refunds and everything was like fine, you know? They still decided basically after a month of like holding me, you know, just like close my account and they will not send me like $50,000 and they will hold them for like half of a year, right? Which was kind of like suck, you know? Because I needed those money <laughs> to like build a business or like live, you know? So basically because of that, I was like forced to rebuild my business well, I didn't go with PayPal, you know, because I didn't want to give them more money. You know, they would just like shut me down again. So, and then I moved to, to checkout, right? So if you can, I would definitely like think twice about using PayPal because I have a lot of friends who are spending tons of money, you know, with their e-commerce stores and none of them have any like good experience with PayPal. Almost all of them lost their accounts like very fast when they scaled it, you know, for example, before I moved to e-commerce and did it for myself, I was working with clients and we were used to just like spend their like crazy money. So one day they even didn't have like some new PayPal account. It was like almost like one or two years old PayPal account. They had some special, you know, like uh, merchant contract with them. And even that, you know, still one day we woke up and PayPal was like, closed. They decided to hold four hundred thousand dollars you know and well you know and you can't really like do anything about it you know because this is the way how paypal will do business with you right so 
if you can just use Stripe or use to check out. Well, I think personally that Stripe is the best payment gateway in the world. I think if you can just use Stripe because these people are like professionals. I don't know why, but they kind of like, they know what they are doing. And even if you have some kind of like problems, you can still like talk with Stripe, tell them like, okay, we have like problem with supplier. Just please like, don't like shut us down. You know, it will be fine in like two weeks, you know? And they will kind of like understand because they are like more humans there. I don't know why PayPal is like this, this way is like behaving and do business. I mean, I don't want to just like hate on PayPal and do like some anti-hate video on PayPal. I mean, it sucks that they took my $50,000 well, they sent it back to me in like half a year, but they didn't need to because I was not even like a problem for them. If you are in a position where you need, we want to start a business and you don't want to like kill yourself at the beginning after you will, for example, find some product that works or like a little bit scale your business, then definitely like move away from PayPal because they don't want like, I think they hate like, like e-commerce, you know, it's like, because if you will go to Stripe or to checkout, they will be like a lot more happy with you and they will not throw knives on you like constantly because I think like PayPal just don't want your business, you know? So if you're just starting with e-commerce, just go straight to that, to that Stripe. If you can't get Stripe in your country, just get to check out, you know? I definitely recommend that. My next video will be about how to get approved by Stripe and well, how to like do business with them, you know? Because it's really like a great payment gateway and you definitely like should at least like check it. And also my last video was about how to get approved by to check out. So definitely check that, okay? Definitely join Adferation. It's my free Facebook mastermind group. It just started, so now is the best time to join because it's just me and a couple of marketers who spend tons of money on Facebook. So if you want to have like a connection with me, definitely join Adferation now. And also, if you got recently flagged or your Facebook ad account got flagged or your advertising access got restricted, just download my free ebook. I wrote it, you know, to get you out of the darkness, you know, so you can restart your business and just keep promoting on Facebook without like always like looking at behind your shoulder if they are like not standing with knife. Okay, so just definitely download my free ebook today. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.